Spartans, prepare for glory. What's going on, truckers? How we doing today? I want to talk to you about something that happens with the average person almost every time something is thrown at you like 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 if I say to you you need to exercise most of you out there immediately something in your brain shuts you down and you say to yourself and, and you don't exercise okay you'll think about it's hard or weights are heavy and oh I'm sore the next day or if I'm walking around the truck stop, people are going to look at me and, and they're going to be thinking, oh, look at this guy trying to exercise. Look at him. Who does he think he is? You immediately stop yourself from going to any different level in life, in all areas of life. Go over there and talk to that woman. Oh, uh, she's probably not going to like me. You know what I'm saying? you got to fail. You know? <laughs> if you... If, if you want a woman in your life and you see a woman and you like the way she looks go talk to her right go up to her you know do your best you know approach you can possibly think of don't be corny right yeah I mean I'm, <laughs> I'm far from Rico Suave I'm just saying what I'm talking about is is that as soon as you want to or you approach with something or you want to go to some different area of life something shuts you down uh, I'd like to get more education but, but, but you start thinking, oh, yeah, it's got to cost money and I don't have a whole lot of time. You're shutting yourself down. You know that life would be better for you if you exercise. You know that life would be better for you if you got some more education. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But something in your head shuts you down. Don't let it shut you down. Nike has got... I wish Nike would approach me <laughs> for saying this. That'd be great, wouldn't it? Nike has got the best motto uh, that you could ever have. Just do it! Stop shutting yourself down. Stop, get out of your own way. Most of you are out there getting in your way every day, every day. You know you shouldn't be smoking. There's a whole lot of you know different things they got out there these days to help you stop smoking. I mean, the money that you spend on smoking a year, you could buy a flipping car. Christ, man. Get out of your own way. Stop shutting yourself down. Just do it. Just do it. Stop thinking. Do it. Christ. Stop thinking so much. Get your tennis shoes on, black socks, corduroy pants, Hawaiian shirt, and go for a walk. Hey, guys, this is how you got to do it, man. You have to fail, all right, till you get successful, all right? This is how you do it, basically, roundabout way. Hi, how you doing? My name's Joe. What's your name? Get lost? Gotcha. Hi, how you doing? My name's Joe. What's your name? Go away. I got you. Hi, how you doing? My name's Joe. What's your name? Cindy. That's how you do it. Just let it go, man. Let now, it go. I'm the first person to tell you. See, this is exactly why uh, I wanted to slow down on my videos. Because I'm the first person to tell you that if you... Whatever you're doing in this country that you enjoy and love and you're happy, as long as it's legal, God bless you. You know, if you know, you know, well, if you know, you know the cigarettes are bad but you don't care, you enjoy it, and then you're, you're enjoying your life, even though you know you're taking 10 years off your life, hey, God bless you. In this country, do what you want to do, as long as it's legal, you know? So, uh, and that's, I'm telling you the truth right there, right? I'm not trying to tell you to live your life the way, uh, you know, that I'm telling you to live your life. This video is for, if you want to stop smoking, you know what I mean? If you want to do this, if you want to do that, then you, you just got to do it. Just do it. When it comes to smoking in particular, there's just so many different things out there these days that you could use to help you stop smoking. I mean, there's so many ways out there. You got to be careful, right? You want to look into it because some of those things out there, it says uh, it could possibly grow an arm out of your head. So just be careful. You know, but uh, 
whatever you're doing to yourself that's not good for you, but you're happy, God bless you. God bless you. And by the power of video, suddenly I'm in a hotel room. Trucks at Freightliner. I wanted to tell you this story. You'll be glad that you waited this long for this story. It's an absolutely true story. And uh, you'll love it. I have a cousin. His name is Jimmy. We'll just say it like that. He was born... It's a quick story. Just get right to the juice of it. He was born, two years later after he was born, dad dies. Cancer. Okay? Before he was even born, his older sister, near drowning experience, she's physically and mentally handicapped the rest of her life. Okay? He has gotten nothing but good grades all of his life. He graduated top honors high school. Okay? He's now got a job and going to college. He didn't let anything get in his way. Right? Most of us had it a lot better when we were born into this world. He didn't. But yet he's, he's moving forward regardless of what he went through. I'm sure it bumps him out sometimes. I'm sure he thinks about it from time to time. But he's, he doesn't have, it seems like he doesn't have that ability to go, woe is me, woe is me, woe is me. He's just moving forward. True story.